Hi everyone, welcome to the 14th video of my Galactic Civilizations 3 Beta 3 Let's Play, playing as the Your Singularity. So in the previous video, I finally managed to get the right techs that have allowed me to get up a military. So I'm starting to make these new Erasmus missile and uh, shield defense ships. And I'm going to be making use of those quite shortly after I've gotten Planetary Invasion, which is only a couple of turns away. In between videos, I've done a lot of my build lists. I've got a couple of things left to do. At the end of the last video as well, there was some events which seemed to suggest that it would lower the mass of my components on the ships. But I don't think it has unless... Well, let's check something here. So iron drive... Yeah, they're normally 18. So that capacity hasn't been reduced. Maybe I have to wait a turn for it to come into effect or maybe it's bugged or not um, actually been added to the game yet just the event has who knows I guess we'll find out next turn maybe so uh, Aurelian gonna be that's nearly finished growing it's grown rather quick so it had a lot of production on it so it's nearly up to 26 billion uh, Delusia now also I have to make my intimidation center somewhere this is an influence improvement, so that would be a pretty good tile for it. But then I'd get less adjacency bonuses. Uh, because they are manufacturing uh, improvements. And it doesn't improve manufacturing, just uh, military influence. So I think I'm actually going to put that elsewhere. Um, now, I'm not sure exactly what bonuses uh, sticking it on an influence tile will actually give it. I think from memory it might be just extra influence growth and sadly not the extra culture production. I do have a planet in mind for it though. Uh, this planet. So I'm going to get rid of that. And build it here. I don't really have any really good influence planets at all. So these cost 120, and I don't have much production on this world either, so this is going to take me a while. Um, i just cap it. Might buy it at the end. Okay, so Aurelian. Let's make some of these uh, Erasmus ships here then. I'm not sure how much logistics they are actually. Let's find out about that. Um, yeah, I can't see. Let's try details. Yeah, I can't see where it says logistics, so I'll find out later when I try and put them in a group. Okay, so how much are they? They are 230. We got a manufacturing bonus as well. I'm not sure if it. I'm hoping it counts at this stage, not lit up in the shipyard, the production boost, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. So, 100, 117 should do it. Let's find out. Yeah, I think it's already counting. That's good, actually. That didn't always used to be the case. Um. Right. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure about that. But that's done in two turns. Uh, what's left? So just Delusia. So let's also make uh, some of those. So I need 117 here as well will do. And missile one. Okay. Uh, this is full up on pop app actually, so I don't need quite so much production here. Right. Oh, I need to switch it back over. Okay, right, next turn. Okay, so what's this? This freighter is basically waiting until I've got some new trade licenses. So, how good is this planet? This is the Dredgen's uh, highest tiled planet, but that's got a bonus to 
gross income, so I might want to trade it there actually, because maybe they'll get wealth there long term, and also it's probably far farther away. Okay, it's gunboat there. Oh, that was uh, the end of that turn, not a new turn. Okay. Uh, what's down here? Right. Give that freight to coming across. Okay, that made production recently. I think I'll make another entertainment centre there because I don't have enough. Well, I need 26 goods and services because that's my pop cap on each of my worlds. So I'll make one there. And these are 15. Uh, right, so we've got a new Erasmus ship there. Let's get this one out. Put them together. So we can only have two in a fleet. So maybe I want to increase my uh, logistics at some point. I need five extra logistics then, really. That Hyperion building would give me actual logistics. It says minus one to logistics. Uh, that could be a bug potentially though. Uh, but that gives you four. So I might want to get this at some stage. At the moment then there's two of these ships per fleet. Uh, but they're pretty amazing ships. So I think I'm going to bring this fleet straight out to there. And protect that. Uh, now, Seru, I think I don't need so much research anymore, so I'm going to switch this over to growing instead, in effect. So I'll put this on 50. Right, so let's grow in 2 billion per turn now. That should still get done in one turn. Okay, next turn. Okay, right. Looks like we found an anomaly in that completed research on Planche Invasion, which was basically completed already. So, not so useful that. Okay. What's this? This freighter can wait. Got Planche Invasion. Okay. Uh, what tech next? Let's get that trade tech, I think, next. I don't think... I've basically got all the weapons techs that I need for the time being. Because I'm probably already a long way ahead of the AI in terms of how good ships I can make. So I can switch back to non-weapon things now for a bit, probably. Um... Okay, so next turn. Oh, that did it. Right, that allowed me to research something else that turn in effect then, so I think it might have worked out. Uh, getting that free, getting that anomaly, in, which has speeded up my tech. Right, so that can go there. Uh, this can keep on coming over here. Now, where's my fleet to? It's going over there. I'm probably going to have to bring fleets over to here just in case anyone gets ideas. This lot is going to be safe apart from maybe the Altarians. Um, right, that can wait. What's this? This is an Erasmus that can wait as can that. And next turn. How long for this? Four turns. Right, it's taking longer now because I took Seru off. Um, put Seru back on then. Wouldn't mind getting that quite quickly. Okay, so put that like that. Two turns. That's more like it. Okay. These turns are going quicker now because there's less to do. Right, so Iconia, I'll put in a couple 
Some more of these, I think. I've got planche invasion now, actually, so should I make some transports? I think I'll make up a decent fleet first. So money's pretty good. These ships, how much do they cost? I'm not sure if it tells you the maintenance here somewhere. Uh, I can't see it, put it that way. Um, let's have a look at the designer. Maintenance four and a half per ship. Okay, that's quite a bit actually. So I can't go super crazy with them. Right, this frigate can continue over here. A lot of my wealth worlds though haven't got their populations up yet, so I've got a lot of uh, room for growth here. Yeah. Okay, that can stay there. Let's can that. Okay, that's uh, yeah. Uh, it's only got four billion. That wealth world has. What is caps? Twenty six billion. Okay, that can wait for a ship. Right, how are we looking up here? Got those two worlds to uh, put um, infrastructure on at some point. Okay, so this freighter is waiting there, so I've nearly got that trade thing now though, so I'll be able to trade with them in a minute. Okay, we've actually finished it. So, what tech am I going for next? Good question. Do I need that extra logistics? I'm not sure I do. That extra research would be pretty nice. The extra spark of life would be pretty nice. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting. Uh, I'm actually going to buy a tech. So let's buy... What is it called? Um, Instellar Survey. Going to buy that. Okay. Now I'm assuming none of the AIs have seen no archaeology yet. So I'm going to get that. That will allow me to get those, get some mining constructors out. Uh, so see no archaeology. I'll just take a second actually just to check the eyes. Okay, so I've looked through all of the AIs and one of them does actually have see no archaeology. So I think I'll get that off them actually. They've got research specialization as well, which I wouldn't mind buying or researching. I don't think I have enough money to buy off them at the moment though. So let's buy that. Now if I have any Constructors floating around. I could be using them. I don't think I do anymore though. It's been a while since I've made any. So let's get research specialization then. I think I'll just research it rather than. Or I could get Spark of Life actually. Yeah, I'll get that, buy that off the Altarians in a few turns. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, Seru, let's switch this back. Um. Actually, let's get Spark of Life first, and then I'll switch this back to Growth. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So, I can get that as well. That would also increase it. We've entered that age now, so maybe I will. And I could also start to improve my infrastructure if I get those. Getting the Antimatter Matrix would be a very good idea. Um, mining, that might actually, if I get that, allow me to show you the cutscenes. For the antimatter, for example. So I might want to pick that up. I don't think I need any weapons currently. So we've got interstellar trade, so I need to use that actually before I forget. And what else have I bought recently? I bought this. I don't think I want to make a survey ship or a really good scanner ship currently, but I might want to in the future. So trade routes. 
Uh, let's check this out. So, trade. Two licenses spare. So this has been going up, but it's not particularly good yet. Let's trade to there. Oh, it's making money now. 6.7. So Drenjan has switched their worlds around a bit. Sevastopol is making the most. Kona is actually making the most. But this long term should make a lot of money because it's got uh, that gross income boost in theory. So I will trade here. It's a long way away. Okay, so it's making us 20 credits. And that should also improve relations with a drenching. And let's also do over here. Okay. So we're all going back to here. So I need to get some decent stuff up here. So trade capital will take five turns. Uh, this gives a boost to tourism as well actually so maybe I would want to make a port of call here somewhere. Might be an idea. Uh, let's yeah let's make that there. Then. So 151. So 30 odd we'll get it done in five turns. Okay, and what does that do exactly? That gives us 100% to our trade routes, extra influence. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, because it's a wealth building, it will be improved by that power matrix. Okay, this uh, frigate can come over here. What's this? Right, I've got a fleet there now. What about here? Got a fleet there. And one there. So this one is on route to there. I think I'll switch that to there. That one can come up to there. That one can go down to there. So our outlying worlds are be protected when they get there, kind of. So I'll make some more. Probably have. Let's check diplomacy a second. We're still weaker than the Altarians, supposedly, and the Drenjin, but I think we're starting to get stronger than the others now, at least a couple of them. Uh, their ships are no match for. Our, their individual ships are no match for our individual ships, but if they got them in a fleet, they could be a problem, in theory. Right, I can wait there. be improved. 23 for these. Okay. Uh, hide the colony. Let's make sort of enhancement. Actually, before I do that, I'll upgrade that. See, it's 33, so 16 and a half. I don't quite have enough. So, 11 I'll do. Okay, right, is there anything I'm forgetting here? I think... Well, I don't need an assembly there anymore, let's hit the pop cap. Okay, let's put this down a bit. Right, Seru... Is that full on research? Yes it is. That's what I want it to be. Bastel. Right, some of those again near the pop caps. Okay, send it in. Uh, that can keep on exploring up here. Right. Should be getting more income now because there's trade routes. Right, so we've got a f combined fleet there. That can... Well, that's going to be attacking the Altarians soon. This has finished. Let's make... assembly here. So I want decent amount of production. Okay. It's only 4 billion. 
Right, that finished. So yeah, it's bonuses influence to this world. I could build another influence building there, but that gives bonus to wealth. So is there much point? Um, I think I'm okay with with uh, wealth. I don't need extra influence particularly. Although it would be nice to have more United Planet votes. I actually talk now. I haven't said that. Um, so ideology. This will start to go up now as well. Since we've made that building. Okay. Uh, looks like I finished making what I was making here. So this can. Assembly. Uh, I actually need approval here at some point. Put them 10. Okay. So not growing that fast. The star bases are giving us some um, goods and services here though. Six. I think. Um, yeah, I'm not sure actually there. Uh, this world, that can be upgraded. Uh, that fleet can wait. That's done. Let's put this on assembly. Okay. Okay, that's done. Wait. Okay, next turn. Okay, what's this? Trade capital was finished because an anomaly was found. That was pretty lucky, actually. So I'll take that off. And this can come up to this. Uh, those are wait for them to grow a tiny bit more and then stick something on them. Okay, so we've got synthetic growth. Uh, I should probably get more in this in a propagation tree. So spark replication sounds like a good idea. How many turns? Five turns. Yeah, why not? Um, oh, I could. I meant to buy that, didn't I? So let's talk of the Altarians. I believe it's the same one. I'm not 100% sure though. Let's check. Yeah, okay. So I've got access to those now if I want them. Um, probably should get them sooner rather than later, arguably. But yeah, for now I'll get that. Okay, let's make some more. Um, what do you call it here? Rasmus ships. I'll keep on making them here. Not sure how many exactly I want. That can come off here. Oh, we found a relic. I might want to get a star base over there in a minute. Uh, colony. Right, let's get these trade posts up and running. Okay, can you only have one trade post? Looks like you might only be able to have one trade post. Yeah, I didn't know that actually. I thought you could just stick a million of these on the world. Um, so this isn't going to be as amazing at trade as I thought it would be. It's still worth making that here though. I think that's the best spot for it. 
I'll probably make a port of call there then, and the rest can be all wealth buildings since they give uh, wealth adjacency bonuses. That gives a tourism boost as well. Uh, maybe I would want the... Yeah, I think I'll put the port of call there. Right. Um, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do on that world exactly, make sure. I also need to design a new troop transport. So I'm gonna okay, so this is my troop transport design. It's extremely fast. I've added five iron drives so it can get where it needs to get pretty much straight away. It's got a couple of extra range modules. So with the help of my star bases, I should be able to cover most, if not all, of the map. It's only got one troop transport module, but that can carry five billion people. So hopefully that will be enough in most circumstances. Okay, so I'm going to be building some of those in a not too distant future. Uh, so Sink Badger is... I think that's going to be fine actually. I will just be sticking wealth buildings around that and maybe the Port of Call. Uh, I've slightly tweaked a lot of my planets uh, as well. So they've uh, got a bit more out of them basically. A bit of extra research and wealth. Uh, so we're earning good money still. I've got a few ships to move before I end the turn, so that can wait, that can wait, and that fleet can wait, and next turn. So I'm not sure if we'll get those troop transports conquering any plants in this video, but at the start and next it should do. Uh, this colony ship can continue up here. My wealth has gone through the roof as well, or my trade I should say. They're all earning a heck of a lot of money for me now. That's even before I've built that trade building as well and got the wealth buildings up to give it adjacency bonuses. Okay, this frigate can continue up here. Uh, right, come back to that. That can upgrade. It's the 33. Lots of my plants are pretty much finished making the infrastructure now, or coming close to it. Uh, that's been made there recently. Let's make soil enhancement. Uh, so we need 15 for those. Hyperion building will go there eventually. Uh, right, so another Erasmus there that can. Wait, that can wait. That can wait, and that can wait. Okay, so next turn. Once this round of Erasmus ships has been finished, I'll make the troop transports. Okay, let me come up here. Right. It's going to take five turns to get. Uh, right, so we've got a new Erasmus fleet there. Uh, they can... Or maybe not. Need one more. Uh, right, that's a new fleet. That's a new fleet. That's on its own. That's finished making whatever it's making. I think... Right, let's... Scrap that. <laughs> Same as center. Yeah, I might just have three on this world actually. So they 30 each. I scrap that and put a research there. It's actually nearly hit its pop cap. Uh, this world finished the trade building. So, sh not sh well, Portacol, that would give me quite a bit of extra adjacency bonuses. Gives me. It gives wealth adjacency bonuses, so it will improve both of those. Both of those give tourism bonus to that, so yeah, I think we'll make one of these. So 67. So that's just enough, I think, for two turns. Yeah. My base tourism amount's been going up. It's 10.7 now, but I still haven't figured out what causes it to rise. Uh, right, so this world, Jovian 2, is going to be 
a research world, I think. It's got an uh, extra bonus from somewhere. Let's actually make an entertainment center there. So do we have 15 production yet? No, I'll put it on just over 10 then. Okay. Right, so I think I'll figure out the rest of the ship movement in the next video. And then think about starting... Well, I'll probably start on making those troop transports now rather than complete those ships, actually. In those two Thank worlds. you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, please ask away as always. And apart from that, I'll see you next time.